Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for March 6th, 2020. So, wow, yesterday, ugly day. Looks like we have an ugly day setting up this morning. Um, how about we settle in, grab something to drink, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the morning market prep video. Boy, oh boy, this morning we're looking at some challenges here in the market. And I want to first apologize that this video is a little bit late this morning. Got a little bit behind and um, running into a couple of problems. But I'm, I guess, better late than never. So I apologize about that. What we have here is a pretty ugly situation. Obviously, yesterday um, we were unable to hold that big rally that we saw on Wednesday, selling off with a gap down and pushing on lower and I was really afraid of that as we head into the weekend um, how the uncertainty of this virus situation was going to affect the market that certainly is playing out and playing out this morning with a substantial gap down as these numbers continue to roll out you know it's it's just so hard for the market to to try and you know, put a finger on what the financial impacts, what the economic impacts are going to be of this virus. Certainly, we're seeing a lot of folks here in the United States buying a product, planning to um, spend extended periods at home, and we're even having businesses now, such as Facebook and Microsoft and things, um, encouraging their employees to just hunker down and work from home as the virus continues to spread throughout the United States. And we know that the incubation period of this um, is um, 10 to 14 days kind of a thing. And we are likely to see that explosion of infections uh, really coming in the next week or so. Unless some kind of a miracle happens and we happen to be um, way better at containing this than they are in any other place in the world. And I think that's probably unlikely. That's just my opinion. I'm not trying to be pessimistic, just that this is going to be pretty damaging. We have the 10 year yields of uh, 10 year treasury yields dropping to 0.07. Uh, percent, um, uh, the lowest um, in recorded history. We have, um, on the positive side, we have uh, mortgage rates dropping to 3.3 percent, so maybe that will inspire some building. Um, probably going to keep the banks busy with a lot of refinances, which is a good thing for the market. But this uncertainty, can, as this continues to grow, um, there's even a report out right now uh, from analysts saying, hey, more rate cuts isn't going to help the virus situation. Um, I think I said that just a few days ago before they actually cut the rates. <laughs> but nobody called me. <laughs> and um, we're clearly seeing that, that a rate cut is not helping the fears of this virus and where things uh, might go. Um, OPEC is proposing a, uh, a massive, um, the biggest oil uh, supply cut since 2008. But right now, Russia's kind of holding up the approval of that. They don't want to get involved in it, apparently. And that is causing um, oil prices to drop pretty sharply um, here this morning. So we've got some issues to deal with, certainly. And and I mentioned yesterday that I'm not 100% sure that we had seen capitulation yet in the market. And what we may actually get in the next um, week or so is that capitulation, where um, everyone that's been kind of holding on with a hope and a prayer that this isn't going to get bad finally gives up and um, we sell off. Now, today what's going to be important here technically is for us is if we can hold the lows here um, on the day. Now, I know everybody looks at this and says, oh my gosh, there's no way we could drop that far in a day. And, and yet we have seen those kind of days already. So uh, as much as we would like to uh, 
like to say that can't be possible. Please tell me that can't be possible. Let's understand that it really is. We could drop into that level. What's going to be important is if we drop down in here is that we hold, you know, these levels in here. If we push down that we can hang on to those levels heading into the weekend, providing a little bit of support. That certainly doesn't mean that um, if we drop into those levels, we can't continue to sell off, but let's just hope we can find some support there. Now, yesterday at the close, the Dow um, found that ability to just kind of hang on to its 500-day moving average, but as you can see, we're gapping substantially lower than that this morning as sellers come in. And, and this is ahead of you know what's expected to be a pretty good employment situation number. Um, if we take a look at the SPY, SPY certainly in a rough situation as well. Um, unable to hold on to that 200-day uh, moving average yesterday, uh, slipping below that, which is unfortunate, and um, selling off pretty sharply this morning as well. So pretty ugly situation gapping all the way down into here. And we've just had that whip back and forth that 200-day. We break it down, come back up, break it down, come back up, break it down. Um, very difficult price action. And if you're in here struggling in this market, just realize that this is a very, very dangerous place for really any traders to be. It may be a place for long-term investors to, to find some value stocks, but I got to tell you, with this kind of volatility, I don't care what kind of a trader you are. This is dangerous. And if you are trying to fight the market here, if you are really trying to play in this environment, just plan on losing a whole lot of money back to the market because this volatility is so extreme that um, even very, very experienced day traders are finding this um, quick whip and big moves all at once, intraday gaps even, um, causing problems for them and making it very, very difficult to trade. So there's no shame in standing on the side and protecting your capital. This will one day be over. This will one day settle down and then there's going to be great opportunities, but there's no need to run headlong in and play chicken with a train here. Um, let's take a look at uh, the cues. Hughes um, slipping down and um, unable to break back above that 50 day moving average, giving up Wednesday's rally and now gapping substantially lower here this morning. Um, really dropping hard. This is going to be a pretty pretty ugly impact on the market this morning. Now the question will be, will that 200 day moving average hold if we continue to sell off? Will it hold a support? If we happen to give that up, then just keep in mind, there's that 500 day moving average and there is a significant level of support down in here that could catch us a little bit before that. So um, is it possible? Yes. And we should plan for that um, possibility. Um, uh, I think looking forward here. Um, let's take a look at IWM. Now, poor IWM is just in a bad condition here altogether. Luckily, at the end of the day yesterday, we held on to this price support. But as you can see this morning, we're gapping down below that price support, which means there really isn't a whole lot of support under this. Um, and we certainly have the ability that we can drop significantly um, into those next levels of support here on IWM. So pretty brutal looking market here this morning. Now keep in mind as Monday rolls around and, and unless you have the belief that all of a sudden the news cycle is going to become much much better and all of a sudden we're going to see a massive improvement of the virus um, around the world then you might have um, some merit in picking up some stocks this uh, today but I personally don't think that's going to be a case as a matter of fact I think that would be kind of foolish thinking um, um, we can expect probably over the weekend those numbers to only get worse um, and particularly here in the United States since we're just at the beginning of this wave and 
and and next week could be very much the same more gaps more big whips more volatility to deal with very very challenging markets as we try to grapple with what all of this means uh, for the market so be very very careful going into the weekend and remember there's no shame in protecting your capital standing on the sidelines cash is a position and in a market like this may be one of the best positions you could utilize let's take a look at um, the VIX that VIX really moving up sharply yesterday as um, I kind of mentioned uh, that possibility existing um, bouncing off of that level of support right in here off of this high pushing back up closing nearly at 40 handles here in the market and my guess is this gap down this morning is going to push us back up here toward those 50 handles making it very very difficult uh, for option traders those bid ask spreads are going to be opened up wide we're going to see very expensive extrinsic value because of the time value um, in those options um, risk is high just be really really careful here um, can we go higher from here yes we certainly can if if we get that capitulation uh, keep in mind we certainly can let's take a look at uh, t2122 t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and you can see we dipped back down here we're getting close to rubbing our belly on the ocean floor again and not looking good and with this gap down this morning we will certainly be real close to right down there by zero and um not looking too healthy here this morning so as we continue to move toward the market open futures are not improving as a matter of fact they're getting worse we're now down 687 points in the Dow futures and just looking for some really substantial um, ugliness this morning um, I can't imagine there's going to be a whole lot of buyers coming going into the weekend with all of the concerns on the virus let's take a look at that economic calendar we do have a few things on the economic calendar to be made aware of but I think you know even though these numbers are likely to come in very good we're looking at employment situation number consensus is expecting a nice bump up in jobs growth and international trade in goods coming out um, both of these numbers are not expected to be terrible but at the same time um, I am not sure folks are going to be paying too much attention to that ahead of um, uh, this weekend and all the concerns over the virus so keep that in mind and then we have a virtual parade of fed speakers today um, i i'm certain they're all going to be coming out you know talking up um, trying to defend their rate cut even though it did nothing for the market and um, i don't know if they will be hinting of anything more um, in the future but um, I think ahead of this virus that would be foolish there's nothing uh, that's going to um, stop this virus um, by cutting rates so it may help a little bit in relieving some pressure but um, I don't think it's going to do much of any good at all so but that's just me um, and by the way um, Jerome Powell never never called me to ask me <laughs> So, uh, futures continue to fall. We're down 725 points here at the moment. Not, not looking too good here um, in the market. So, with that, everyone, hey, I... I can in good conscience, conscience uh, provide any stock picks today. I really can't. And so I'm, I'm just going to suggest to everyone, um, stand aside, protect yourself. Don't, um, uh, don't try to do, you know, chest up and, and prove that you're strong enough to fight this market. Um, be very, very careful and, and realize that anything is possible. Um, holding things over the weekend could be very, very difficult uh, particularly for those short-term trades if you're holding longer term trades or long-term holds yeah and if you those are hedged you're probably still in good shape on those but um, anything other than that is going to be pretty dangerous to hold into the weekend so consider that carefully um, quick intraday trades might be the way to go just really quick in and out if you have the ability to deal with that speed of the market that might be um, acceptable 
but there's just a lot of danger here. Now, one stock I am going to bring up is CPB, and this is just showing you the, the fear in this market. Um, actually, Campbell Soup has announced they're ramping up their production of um, soup because folks are laying in supplies, expecting extended stays at home. And uh, we're seeing um, that run up and stocks like CLX, you know, the disinfectant running up to um, all time highs here in Clorox um, as everyone is looking for a little bit of safety um, in uh, these old defensive company stocks. So um, keep that in mind. There's a lot of danger going on here. We're looking at gold, gold moving higher here this morning, gapping up once again this morning as that fear continues to roll here um, in the market and uh, may even be gaining some momentum. So Please be very, very, very careful. Now, everyone, if you guys could do me a favor, if you find that um, this vi video is helpful to you, if this is the first time you've seen these, and I know I talk a little bit differently than what you're going to see on, you know, mainstream financial networks and things like that. I don't profess to be any kind of uh, market guru in any way, shape, or form. What I have been able to do is put together a career trading the market market full-time for a living for more than 15 years and one of the things that is key to that is the preparation of the market looking at the market trying to remove all of that emotion really taking a look at those technicals and seeing what's going on and if you guys find that helpful if you could please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that uh, bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos normally I put out you know uh, a group of stock um, ideas uh, they're not a recommendation to buy or sell anything but just stock ideas of trades performing but I got to tell you there's a lot of danger going into the weekend and I just can't do that in good conscience I want to see people protecting their capital preserving that capital because this will one day be over and when it is over there's going to be some great opportunities in this market so preserve your capital preserve it at these periods of time rather than risking it into the market and let's wait for those good opportunities to come about because they will be coming um, so just keep that in mind and if you could um, if you think this video was worthy, if you could also do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. I want to say I, I apologize. The last couple of days I've been so extremely busy helping people with um, their trading and, and, and troubles that they're having right now uh, that I haven't been able to answer um, the um, comments uh, the last couple of days but i promise i will be doing that today so everyone take care of yourself i want to wish you all a fantastic weekend if you have a honeydew list or whatever you know take your sweetie out for um lunch today shut off the computer don't worry about this get out out of the way and enjoy the lifestyle of a trader um don't don't put yourself in a situation where you're going to be risking a whole bunch of your capital in market moves like this. As we speak, we have dropped another uh, 40 points. We are down 760 points right now in the market. It just continues to get worse this morning. So be really, really careful, guys. Wish you all of the best. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. And we'll see you all right back here bright and early Monday morning. And let's hope, let's hope we see some improvement um, in this virus situation or uh, some good news in this virus situation to kind of help lift the spirits of the market. Take care, y'all. I wish you all the best.